guys and welcome back to another video it's Samaya and today I'm actually doing a voiceover I don't like doing voiceovers it's really awkward um, but that's what we're doing today today we're gonna talk about neurographic art so I actually came across this technique while looking for art therapy activities as some of you may know I work in the spiritual life center at Emerson College and I lead meditations and meditative activities and yeah um, I do this to help people practice mindfulness and also just to give myself and others a time to decompress throughout the week. So yeah, I'm really into art and I was looking for art therapy activities to share with some of my peers and this is what I came across. So this technique was actually created by Pavel Piskarev in 2014. Pavel Piskarev is a Russian psychologist, creative entrepreneur, and architect. So this technique is supposed to transform one's stress and fear by drawing freeform lines and then later using a specific algorithm to um, transform the stress into beautiful works of art. So later we're gonna talk about the algorithm, but I'm gonna talk a little bit more about neurographic art. So according to Hoban Rich, neurographic art is a simple way to work with the subconscious mind through drawing. She goes on to say that this creative method stimulates new neural pathways by combining art and psychology. Simply stated, connected neurons process information received, enabling people to interact, experience emotions and sensations, and to create memories and enable learning. So for me, I feel like art, especially doing art like this where I'm just um, drawing with no like specific idea in mind I'm just drawing to draw I feel like it gives my brain an opportunity to um, process my thoughts and my feelings and my emotions without thinking about it too hard I guess um, so yeah I was hoping that sharing some art therapy techniques would also help you guys so the first step is to think about something you want to find peace with. So you want to consider an area of discomfort, concern, or challenge, and we're going to write that on, a back, on the back of a piece of paper. So I used watercolor paper because I feel like it um, like absorbs all different types of mediums well, and we used watercolor and markers. And I also have like acrylic paint and stuff. You guys can use whatever is available to you, but like I said, I used watercolor paper. So the next step is to use a pen. They suggest you use a felt pen. But yeah, you're using a pen to draw a long looping or crisscrossing line on the paper. You're not really trying to draw something in particular, you're just drawing a line. So don't stress about it too hard, just go in there and draw a looping line. The next step is to round any sharp corners. And we're going to fill in some of those gaps with ink. I also went and made some of my lines thicker. Um, you're just kind of adding some finishing touches to your doodle, basically. You can also add shapes that overline the lines if you want. Um, I didn't add any shapes, I don't think. But yeah, you can add some like triangles or some stars, anything like that if you want to. And the last step is to just go in with color. Like I said, we used watercolor and markers. I decided to use colors that represented the emotions that I was feeling in that moment. Um, you don't have to do that, but that's what I did. And yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. I would love to see um, you guys' work. If you try this method, please feel free to tag me. I'm definitely gonna be posting more art therapy type videos um, in the future. So be on the lookout for that, and yeah, I will see you guys in the next video.